I wanted to start my podcast, I suppose, really as a response from all the messages I was getting on all my social platforms, through my charity, to give other people a chance to tell their story. Um, I have kind of have two sets of people that come to me. Uh, the first set are people that have overcome adversity and gone through, you know, unimaginable things, but being able to sort of come out the other side. And the other set are people that aren't quite there yet and they want that help and want that advice. And hopefully the podcast can be that resource to them. I suppose firsthand I've experienced uh, the positive things when you can become part of a community and when you can support one another and when you can normalise things that might otherwise make you feel slightly isolated um, and possibly hopeless as well when you start to hear other people's journeys and the honesty you know in a podcast you talk very openly because it does feel quite intimate even though millions of people get to hear it and sometimes when people are completely transparent and honest that's when it does genuinely benefit other people. I've been really fortunate with my guests you know I sat down and made my wish list and I'm slowly sort of working through those people and as the podcast has grown and got bigger and bigger people have trusted me to come on and you know, really open up and, and be quite honest. And some of it has been emotional. Some of it's been funny and uplifting. There's been a real variety of guests. Um, the very first episode was Alice Living, who was known as Clean, Clean Eating Alice on Instagram. And she's known as a trainer and she's known as one of the first kind of influencers to do all the exercise and the recipes online. But lots of people didn't know that she actually got to that path because of being in a uh, abusive relationship and that domestic violence led her to um, start a whole new life and go on to inspire other people. Um, I've had sort of high profile crime cases. I've had Brooke Kinsella talking about the death of her brother, James Bolger's mother, Denise Ferguson, um, and also Becky O'Brien talking about her past um, and escaping a DV situation also. Um, my most recent episode, which is one of my favourites, was a young man called Elliot Rents who um, his stage name is Alexa Stone and he turns himself into celebrities using makeup and he's done Ellen and she's reached out to him, Helen Mirren, even the Kardashians reached out to him when he did Kim Kardashian. But recently he did a huge social media hoax where he faked his own surgery to challenge the perception of beauty. So we, we talk quite in depth about what beauty is in that episode and how when he impersonated somebody that has allegedly had a lot of plastic surgery, like the Kardashians, he got a positive response. But when he impersonated himself having plastic surgery, he got a very negative response, even though it was the same amounts on both sides, and it really challenged how society sees that. I think one of my most favourite things about doing a podcast is the feedback because, you know, if you put something out on telly, nowadays you can see what people thought of it through social media, but by then it's almost too late. Whereas with the podcast, you can the content can be led by the audience so they can rate and review you. And when they do leave those reviews, it helps you in your chart position and it helps you, you know, within all of the apps where people buy the podcast. But it also helps you plan episodes and questions and you realise what people have an appetite for, what's too much for some people, what's too heavy. Um, and most of all, you get those messages from people that say, I've been living with this and I've not been able to do X, Y or Z. And I was in tears hearing that podcast and I'm changing this or that in my life. And you kind of think, do you know what? I don't care how many downloads it gets. Just hearing that it makes it worthwhile. So yeah, it's really, it's a brilliant platform to communicate with people. I listen to podcasts all the time. When I'm on my own, I listen to a podcast as company. When I'm commuting, I listen to it. When I go running in the gym, when I do housework, I listen to it. Um, I listen to quite a variation. I mean, I like stuff that is kind of the self-help genre and motivating. Um, I also like stuff that helps me with my own life. I'm really into Fern Cotton's Happy Place podcast. Um, some of the guests and her herself are 
is, is somebody I really admire. I like Russell Brands, Under the Skin, that's really good. I also listen to lots of medical ones. I like listening to doctors and um, naturopathic doctors, alternative medicine. I really like Dr. Rongin's podcast. That's a really, really good one because there's lots of different topics on there. Um, but I also like a bit of light relief. Uh, the same as with my TV, you know, I'll watch documentaries, but then I'll watch reality telly. Um, and Lydia Bright, who used to be on TOWIE, her whole family have done a podcast called The Brights, and it's actually filmed in their kitchen, and it's their what goes on in their life day to day with the siblings, their foster, their foster siblings as well, and it's, it's quite funny. I suppose the ultimate goal would be to have the Queen, and that would actually be to ask her all the kind of nosy questions of what biscuits do you eat, what do you cook for tea, who cooks the tea, uh, you know, what do you, who does your makeup, do you wear makeup every day? All the kind of trivial questions of are you one of us? I think would be quite interesting to find out. You can find my podcast in all the places where you usually get your podcasts, whether that's Acast, whether that's Amazon, whether that's Apple iTunes, uh, you can find it there. If you are listening to it, please do rate and review it, because like I said, it does help me plan the episodes. Um, there's a lot more episodes to come. I'm in my second series, and you know I'm being guided by the listeners all the time, and I've got a, I've got a healthy list of people uh, that I want to get through. <laughs>